you, and there you go, and there you go. How's it going out there? Well, I don't think they're too thrilled with the apples. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to load up on the candy. I forgot it was Halloween, too. I mean, there's so much going on, what with Louise's death and Jessica's problems. I know, it used to be such a big deal in this house. I remember Jessica, she, she loved Halloween. We'd all get dressed up in our costumes and pass out candy to the trick-or-treaters. Oh, well, that was a long time ago, another lifetime. So Jessica's home? Yeah. She says she's here to stay. Um, I don't know if I can trust her. Did you ask her about that latest murder downtown? If she denies any knowledge or involvement, of course I believe her. Of course, of course. What is it about our kids, Sam? I always thought it would get easier as they got older. Huh. Speaking of things not getting any easier for some people, take a look at this. Well, there's no way they can avoid each other now. You know, when Noah first told me about him and Fancy, I told him he was crazy. They were completely mismatched. Please. I even warned him to stay away from my own daughter. Well, it's a good thing they didn't pay attention to us. <laughs> good thing for a while. They seem to be doing well, and then poof, everything went south. That's too bad. You know, they seem to be getting along pretty good. Well, I hope they can survive this latest spat. Yeah. You know, they seem to be getting along so well. Now you can cut the tension between them with a knife. Yes, well... It's hard when you come from two different worlds. Two different classes. Yeah. You're right, money can be a wonderful thing. And I am sorry to say, Fancy has been spoiled her whole life. You were a little spoiled when I met you. <laughs> I was, wasn't I? Oh, yes, you were. Oh. Mm. But we managed. For a little while until i made the biggest mistake of my life you know it's a shame to let the same thing happen to fancy and noah what do you say we give them the benefit of our experience do you think it'll help we'll never know unless we try uh oh looks like things are getting worse now you have come through the same door together well i i guess i could have a talk with fancy yeah, you know what? I could talk to Noah as well. Um, maybe we could save him some of the heartache that we went through. What? Uh, what were you talking about when I walked in? Nothing. No, nothing much. Mother, I know when you're fibbing. Right. Um, let me go read the paper. <laughs> Noah? Dad? I saw you and Fancy outside a minute ago. Fancy who? <laughs> Look, seriously, Dad, I just don't want to talk about her, all right? I mean, why would I want to be in a relationship with a spoiled brat posing as a grown woman? Maybe because you know there's a lot more to her underneath. I think you do. I think that's why you're so upset about the breakup. You're in love with her. OK, so she's still under my skin. It's only because she's such a, <laughs> such a walking disaster. Or because you don't want to stop thinking about her. <laughs> you know, it's weird. One moment I'm thinking, you know, wow, somehow I ended up with the girl I'd been looking for all my life. You know, I, I really saw someone else there behind that spoiled rich girl facade. And then the next moment, there's living proof that she really is Alistair Crane's granddaughter. You know, she, she always was and she always will be. Out of bounds for Noah Bennett in every way. What if your first instinct was right? What if the girl that you were meant to be with gets away? Look, even if I wanted to get back together with Fancy, she's made it very clear that she's over me, all right? 
Well, maybe it's just her pride that's talking, just like it's yours. If you love her, it's not too late to fix things. Yeah? How? Open up. Tell her how upset you were when she offered you a job working at Crane Industries for Alice. Look, I already did. Well, 10 to 1, I, I guess you were doing while you're blowing your stack. Talk to her this time. Calmly. Be patient. Let her know that that was, that was all about Alistair. That your feelings for her are separate. You think she'll listen? Well, you'll never know unless you try. Look, I don't want to come off as some kind of wuss, no, no, all right? you won't. You're just telling her how much she means to you. And if it doesn't work, then so be it. Go on. Go talk to her right now. Tell her you want to give it another chance. Look, nice try, Dad, all right? But it's going to take a lot more than patience to make things work between Fancy and me. We're just, you know, too different in too many different ways. What about the ways that are really important? Maybe you two are more alike than you think. If this girl gets to you like I think she does, don't give up without a fight. Because if you do, you may regret that decision for the rest of your life. Look, maybe you're right. Maybe I, you know, owe it to myself to try to make it work with Fancy one more time. At least you'll know then that you've done everything that you possibly could. I believe you'll find her in the kitchen. Um, you know, I'm gonna wait for her outside and you know, talk to her alone. Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. <sighs> huh? How'd it go on your end? Oh, not great. But I know Fancy still has feelings for Noah, but I don't know if she has the courage to see it through. Well, maybe she will need to if Noah has enough. Well, we'll soon find out. What do you mean? He's waiting for her outside. He says he wants to give it another shot. I hope we got through to him. I'd hate to see them lose each other. I don't have all day, Noah. What do you want? Um... <laughs> Look, I want to talk about us. Uh, about our future.